We all love water, but what exactly is in it? It's hard to tell just by looking at it, so we wanna test it, and there's some easy, cheap ways to do that. The first step is to get yourself a TDS meter. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids, and that's gonna tell you how much extra stuff is in the water. A TDS meter is great because it's a cheap way to get a baseline level of your water. These are only like $15 online, and you can use them over and over and over again. Simply turn it on and insert the tip into the water you're testing. The lower the number, the better. Distilled water is zero. Anything above that up to 100 is an acceptable range, but 100 is considered hard water. In the middle of that range, around 50, is what you would expect from carbon filters and mountain springs. Above 400 is what you want to stay away from. That's too many extra particles. Unless you know you're adding something to that water, like minerals or electrolytes, you want to stay away from this range. The next step beyond a TDS meter will be getting some test strips, like a 10-in-1 or 14-in-1 kit. While a TDS meter is gonna read the total dissolved solids, the strip test is gonna tell you what's in the water. Completely submerge the strip in the water you're testing. Swirl it around for a few seconds, then remove it, and you'll see the color swatches change based on the concentration of those elements. Every water is going to react different, so it's really important that you test it on your own water that you're consuming. If there is something that stands out and has you concerned, you can get an advanced testing kit. And while these tests are more expensive and only single use, they are more accurate and can give you a better reading of specific problems with your water. This specific kit tests for pH, total alkalinity, copper, total hardness, total chlorine, nitrite, nitrate, lead, and bacteria. It's really only necessary if you're worried about something in particular. For the most part, you should be okay with the TDS meter and the basic strips. These products are really affordable, and I recommend you try them for yourself. You might find out you're consuming things that aren't beneficial to your health, and they could be hurting you in the long run. I was really surprised when I found out my tap water was actually terrible, and now I can take steps to fix that so I know that what I'm drinking and what my family is drinking is safe and actually good. Bottom line, know what's in your water so you can live a safe and healthy life. Now that you have the knowledge on how to test your water, you can check out some other videos over here where we teach you all sorts of great stuff. And be sure to subscribe right here by clicking this button. Thanks.